Hello friends, welcome to Macamox. Be Macamox developers knowledge pad. Today we will learn the basics of Java. Now what is Java? Java is a pro programming language uh, very similar to C, C++. Uh, it was developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystem and it's a subsidiary now of Oracle Corporation. Java was released in 1995 and since then its popularity is increasing day by day. Now there is a question coming up in people like why they should use Java. I would consider this three main reasons which are efficient to convince like why we should use Java. Java is object oriented, it's portable and also it helps in building various web application by using different frameworks. So this is what why we should use Java. Let's consider the point a little bit more further which will able to help understand why we should use Java. Let's talk about object oriented uh, and I would like to give an example about that that is uh, the safety toolkit box Taylor store where it sells the safety toolkit box so it has n number of safety toolkit box in its store and now let's take two characters which is Mr. Tom and Mr. John this two characters buys safety toolkit box from this store and how this will work on with object oriented principle let's see so Mr. Tom goes to the store and buys the safety toolkit box for his car. And also Mr. John goes to the same store and buys the safety toolkit box from the from that store again for his car. Now what does the safety toolkit box consist of? That is the oil, water, touch, medicine and two manuals. So this is what the safety toolkit box has. That's the standard structure they have for all the safety toolkit box present in the store. Now, for Java programming language, we will consider this safety toolkit box as a class, as a whole, as a class. And we will make the variables for it. Variables is the oil, water, torch, and medicine. And the other two, which is the manual, let's make them as a method. Why? Because this manual, if they are methods, that takes the parameters, that is the variables, and do the steps inside the method and give us the output once the method is over and which is satisfactory to the user. So this is what Java programming is based on which is developing a class it has um, variables and methods inside and this is what a class consists of mainly. So let's how its class is related to that safe toolkit box right now. So now if we see like Mr. Tom and Mr. John has taken a safety toolkit box from that big store so they have taken two objects out from that store so the store has this thing like n number of things inside and they have taken two objects out for their personal use so Mr. Tom and Mr. John has taken two objects of that same toolkit they have both they can do the same things if they want so that's what it is called objects they have taken two objects of that safety toolkit box now so Tom and John have objects of safety toolkit which can be used when in need during emergency so it has both the same functionality and it's object oriented we can say like it has a class and two objects of that same class same functionality now consider like Mr. Tom gets a car breakdown due to his engine oil gets over and he needs to fix that issue so he uses that object that's the safety toolkit box and he wants the oil uh, from, the, from the toolbox and a manual for that how to change oil in that oil for the car so he needs two things and he uses that so he is utilizing that object 
for his personal use. Same way, Mr. John also gets into the same problem and he also gets the problem of radiator. So he needs water and the manual for the radiator. He uses that same object which is the safety toolkit box object and he uses that water and manual to fixing that fix that problem. So this how both the characters that is Mr. Tom and Mr. John uses the same safety toolkit box that is we, we can consider as an object of a one class. So that is how object oriented comes into picture. So that's how a store have n number of objects and number of same objects you can say and people around buy that objects like in a real time real life uh, example if we consider so people buy that object and use it in their emergency period and it helps them in solving the problems so this is how object oriented principle is like and class is created and objects are made out of it which can be utilized for by different classes and methods to fulfill their purposes of that main class so one class with different variables and method can be created like a safety toolkit box and various objects can be created from that class which can be used by some other class or solving a problem or fulfilling the problem or fulfilling a function you can say so we can discuss about the first point which is the object oriented right now now let's discuss why it's more portable uh, while writing this whole code, Java is written in regular text by writing with key keyboard which we are using in our laptop or keyboard, separate keyboards for the desktop computers and all. But w once we compile this code, it converts to byte code. And this byte code can be only executed in this virtual machine. And that virtual machine is called as JVM, Java Virtual Machine. So why this is portable? Why I'm explaining this? Because if any machine has this JVM, that is the j any operating system that is Mac, X Windows XP or any operating system or machine have this JVM, they can use Java. So that's make it portable because you you write code in it, you can make applications from it. So that's how it's portable. So we discuss about the portability also. Now let's talk about the building of an application with Java. Uh, an application consists of HTML page, something like www.google.com, uh, Java code for business logic and database. These three things mainly is required, like an application consists of. So where google.com gets the search uh, data from the search box that we enter and it gives to this business logic which is done in Java and then this business logic have some functionality and then it passes to the database and gets some data out and again goes back where we see our search results so that we get it from the database so this is how this we this helps Java helps in building the applications also now there are many other frameworks also use based on Java, which makes this process of H writing HTML and business logic and database code very easy. Like this frameworks are Spring, Hibernate, JSF, which are very hot frameworks right now. And Bina Camox will be discussing about this topics in future. And it will be very helpful to understand it. So this is how it helps supports to build web applications. So I hope you people love this basics of Java. This basics of Java consists of only what is Java and why we should use it. It's nothing much. It's like base of Java. Like people who don't know what Java and why they want to use Java. If they are confused, like they should go for .NET or if they are confused, they should go for some other programming language. So this is a tutorial or you can consider uh, just uh, intro for Java. And uh, I would say like Bina Camox will be coming with further development notch pads on various topics. That will be, as I told, Spring, Hibernate, JSP, Servlets. There are lots of topics to be discussed and many to come. So if you, ha if you have any questions about it, please let us know at knowledgepad at binacamox.com. 
and till that time thank you and enjoy learning